Hi, my name is Mike Rand with 3Sharp. In this visual how-to, we're going to cover how to configure and deploy a workflow to SharePoint Server 2007 using a solution package. We're going to use the Visual Studio 2008 solution that we created in the building and expense report approval workflow for SharePoint Server 2007 using Visual Studio 2008 visual how-to. Let's get started. We need to create a manifest XML file for our solution package. Open the Visual Studio 2008 project we created in my previous Visual How To, Building an Expense Report Approval Workflow for SharePoint Server 2007 using Visual Studio 2008. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to select the solution and right click, select Add, New Solution Folder. And we're going to name this folder Solution. Go ahead and click enter. Now we're going to add a file to this folder. So again, I'm going to right click on this, select add, and then select new item. I'm going to select XML file from the selection list, and I'm going to rename it to manifest.xml. Click add. Now we have our manifest XML file. We'll want to add some information here, so we're going to insert some text here. So now we have our XML file, we have our solution, our feature manifest, and it specifies a folder location for our feature.xml file. This is within our solution package, so this folder doesn't exist in our directory at this time. We specify a DLL. And we also specify our deployment target, which is the global assembly cache. Go ahead and save this. We can go ahead and close our manifest XML file now. The next thing we need to do is create the solution.ddf file. And this file will be used to create our WSP solution package. Select the solution folder, right click and select add new item. Select text file and type in solution.ddf and, and click add. Now we need to add some text to our solution DDF file to create our WSP file. So I'm going to paste in some code. Notice we set up some various properties here, commission, compression type, cabinet, and our directory. Then we specify our manifest XML file, our custom approval form, our DLL, our feature XML file, and our workflow file. Two things that are important to point out here is that notice I have a source directory and then I have a destination directory. This will create a subdirectory inside of our .wsp file and that's required for our solution package. We can go ahead and save our solution.ddf file now and close it. Now that we have our manifest.xml file and our solution.ddf file, we're ready to create our solution package. We need to use the makecab.exe utility to do this. Go ahead and open up a command prompt and navigate to our solution directory. Type in the following command and run it. You get some output information here and now we have a WSP file. Let's go take a look. Let's now go out to our solution directory and take a look. There we have our WSP file. Go ahead and close the directory and close the command prompt. Now that we have our solution package, we need to deploy it. We will need to use the stsadm.exe tool. Open up a command prompt and navigate to the directory that contains the stsadm tool. Run the following command to add our solution to our SharePoint server. Now that we've successfully added our solution to our server, we need to deploy that solution. Let's do that now. Run the following command to deploy our solution on our server. There we go. 
Now that we've added and deployed our solution, we're going to need to install it. Let's do that now. We'll run the following command to install our feature. Now that we've successfully installed our feature, we'll need to activate it. We'll do that now. We'll run the following command to activate our newly installed feature. We're now ready to go over to our SharePoint server and check out our workflow. When we navigate to our expense document library and go to its settings, workflow settings, we can see that our expense report workflow is now available for use in this library. Creating a solution package gives us the ability to deploy our feature to other servers. This is useful when you have a development environment server and one or more production servers. The creation of the solution package requires that we use the stsadm.exe and the makecab.exe utilities.